I'm going to walk you through the main components of Polygon ID and its architecture. So as you can see, there are like three main components available in Polygon ID, and each of its components uh, is a tooling for developers that wants to act as issuer, as wallet provider, or as verifiers. So let's start with the issuer. The tooling available for issuers is called issuer node and is a Docker container that can be run in order to create a self-hosted server. And this server will expose all the APIs needed to run an issuer. So for example, an issuer can be a university that wants to provide university degrees certificate in the form of verifiable credential or a DAO that wants to create a membership attestation. The main APIs that are available through the issuer node are one API that allows to create a keys for the issuer. That would basically be the way that the issuer control their identity and to extract a public identifier called the ID from this private key. Furthermore, one of the main functionality of the issuer node is to create credential and issue this credential and share this credential to users, to their wallet. So going to the second component, the second component is a tooling made available for wallet provider and it's called the wallet SDK. Basically, it is a library written in Flutter for every mobile app developers that wants to add functionality to their wallet or they want to create a new wallet from scratch. And what are the main functionalities made available by the wallet SDK? Basically, as said previously, the wallet SDK exposes API to create a key that will basically managing the identity of the user and again, extracting a public identifier from this private key. Furthermore, via the wallet SDK, the user can talk to an issuer so they can authenticate themselves to an issuer and they can receive fetch credential from the issuer. And lastly, the wallet can speak with verifiers, which we we'll see now what the verifier are. And basically the way a wallet speaks with the verifier is by generating zero knowledge proof based on the credentials that are stored, that are issued by the issuer and stored inside the wallet locally. So as I said, the last component is dedicated to verifiers. Its verifier can be, for example, a Web2 or a Web3 platform that wants to authenticate user based on their identity. And this is a library that is both available in JavaScript, in Golang, and is also available for Web3 application in the form of smart contract. So let's see how the verifier SDK acts. What are the main role of a verifier SDK? The verifier is setting up a query. What is a query? It's a request to satisfy certain criteria for a user. Let's take an example of a Web2 application. It can be a social media platform that wants to authenticate users based on their university degree. So the verifier can set up a query asking the user to provide them the attestation of a certain degree that they obtained. Or it can be a web free application. So it can be a smart contract that is asking a user to, for example, provide the proof that they are part of a specific DAO. So this is the first API that is made available by the verifier. The second main API that is made available for the verifier is to verify the proof that is sent by the user. So if the wallet generates a proof, it can be actually a zero knowledge proof, or it can even be a selective disclosure of a specific attribute of their credential. Once they receive this proof, they will basically be able to say, yes, it is valid based on the previous query, or no, it's not valid. So these were the three main components made available by Polygon ID. And as you can see, every actor that is involved in an identity system have their own specific tooling made available for them.